I'm talking snoring today. So put your saw and your log on pause and let's go. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Everyman. This week's episode, it's about snoring. You know, that freight train noise that you make while you're sleeping, and it makes your wife wanna smother you? First off, if you got the sleep apnea, go to the goddamn doctor. You might need to be wearing the Darth Vader mask. <laughs> Secondly, if you don't snore, well, you get a goddamn sticker. My lovely wife has informed me that my snoring has increased in volume and frequency. Things are getting so goddamn bad around here, she's sleeping in another room. In an attempt to provide her with some relief, I turn to the boys in the lab here at the Everyman HQ for, you know, a solution. The boys in the lab have provided me with this detailed analysis. I'm gonna share that with you now. Lose some fucking weight, you fat bastard. Now the use of insults, that doesn't hurt my feelings. But the cancellation of Wednesday night wing night, well, that's cruel and unusual punishment. So that's a fucking nope. Throttle back the cocktail hour because alcohol makes it fucking worse. All right. Well, it just so happens that the cocktail hour throttle stuck wide open. So that's going to be a goddamn nope. Use a contraption that you can put in your mouth that shoves your jaw forward. Well, I'm going to tell you that I actually tried this thing out. And the snoring stopped. But in the morning, I needed the goddamn jaws of life to open my mouth. So that's a fucking nope. Then they hit a winner winner chicken dinner. They said, use this big goddamn ramp pillow. Combined with this weird ass pillow that my wife ordered on the Facebook, then said it sucked. The ramp, well, it raises you up about 7.5 inches. And combined with this weird ass pillow, snoring stopped. Now, this evil Knievel ramp snoring cessation system took me about a week to get used to. But now, my wife doesn't have to sleep in another room. Occasionally, I fall off the ramp and get a ramp penalty from my wife. Also, she's deemed it mandatory that I travel with it. So as you can see, if you're a back sleeper with your mouth open, snoring like a son of a bitch, there may be a solution for you. Remember, men tend to fall asleep rather quickly. It usually takes women about 2.5 general hospitals to get to sleep, but nothing pisses off a woman more than sleep envy. So even if you stop the snoring, but you still fall asleep in 10 seconds, well, she's gonna be hot pissed. And she's gonna need another general hospital just to fall asleep because she's so fucking irritated with you. So either way, you're fucked. This is the Everyman, and I've got you covered. Until next time, guys. And guys, try to do something with that snoring. Or your whole family, well, they're going to snore shame you. Like, hashtag, Dad, I can hear you on the other side of the house. Hell, I don't even know what a hashtag is. And hey, if you like this video, smash on that like button and subscribe to my channel. It keeps the boys in the lab motivated. Be well, guys.